Hello, I'm Reed Nelson, the developer of MENA and a member of the Solace Latest Lab in the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery at UW-Madison. I'm going to tell you a little bit about MENA, which is the Microbiome Interaction Network Alignment Algorithm. Um, to start with a bit of background, there are well-established and richly biodiverse microbial communities in the soil and in lakes and in your own mouth and lungs and gut and all over. Uh, in many cases, these communities have a significant impact on their environment and the macroorganisms that they share it with. So in soil, for example, you can think crop yield, uh, resilience of crops against pathogens and against harsh climate conditions. Um, the microbiome can impact all of those. The size and genetic diversity of these microbiomes present a serious challenge for an interested biologist looking to study them. Uh, simple measures would include things like how many species make up this community, or how many other families do organisms of this family interact with. These are measures of the whole community, but they're not very informative. The biologists might be able to put together this whole network with nodes representing whatever taxonomic level they want and connect those nodes according to various interactions, but all that effort isn't worth much if your model doesn't teach you anything. Um, and this is where MENA comes in. So MENA takes as input two networks, calculates the similarity from each node in one network to each node in the other, and then uses that data to match each node uh, in one to a node in the other, thereby aligning the networks. So just for a quick visual aid, here we've got an interaction network with some Greek OTUs. Let's say they're genuses. We can picture the network as it's drawn below, but the adjacency matrix is how it'll be represented digitally. In red here, we've got another network and its adjacency matrix. Um, matrices like these will be the input to MENA. And the output will be mainly their alignment here in purple. So inspecting this matrix, you can see alpha and little a are aligned um, as indicated by the you know, one. And then beta is aligned to B, gamma to C, and delta to D. You can see also that node E was left unaligned because it turned out to be less topologically and or biologically similar to the rest. And an alignment will never be more than a one-to-one -one mapping. Now let's take a look at some actual stuff. Um, a software note for MENA is published in the Journal of Open Source Software. And then here on GitHub, you can find the C++ code as well as documentation, examples, and the simulated data from the paper. Both of these pages will be linked in the description. We want this link. Then we'll run a quick get clone. And just for a better view, I'll switch to VS Code. Just taking a quick look at G and H, these will be our example inputs. As you can see, these are adjacency matrices just like the red and blue ones from before. So now, assuming we've got the requisite software, we can just run make, and that'll compile MENA into an executable for us. Now to run MENA, it's just dot slash MENA dot exe, and then the names of the networks we want to align. And there we go. Took 136 milliseconds, and we can see all the outputs in this newly created alignments directory. For user convenience, we've got the alignment in both a list and a matrix form. So yeah, that's MENA. Super simple to install and execute. For a deeper dive into how the algorithm works and all the other details you might find useful, check out our software now, um, or even just the README on GitHub. Again, both are linked in the description. If you have improvements or additional features you'd like to see, reach out to the lab or even just open a PR. There's more information about contributing on GitHub too. Thanks for watching.